For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Aries, in the recent past we have separation. And this card reads, Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And we also have comfort. And on the flip side of comfort, it reads, Lean back into the arms of grace, let go and let God. So, in the recent past, I'm picking up for some of you Aries. Uh, you were about to be separated from your person. Or it could have been a situation, or it could have been a family member. You, there was a separation about to take place. Time apart was on the horizon. So you needed to take comfort. Lean back into the arms of grace and let go and let God. Because it probably caused you some sadness. So you had to try to stay focused. But there was some type of separation in the recent past. And you needed to take comfort in knowing that things would be okay. And that's pretty simple for your recent past. Let's move on over and let's take a look at the present time. We have lovers and temperance. Now, the lover's card, it's associate, associated with the astrological side of Gemini the Twins. Uh, you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship that's coming in or one that you're already in. Or it also could be a situation in your life. Um, it could be that your heart is telling you one thing, though. Your heart might be saying something, and then your head may be saying something else. Now, when you get this lover's card, it's, it's saying and showing that it's safe to choose love. Some people say, you probably heard the saying, that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. So, the lover's card is saying choose love. This is a very powerful card in the tarot. Um, it means there's a good opportunity here. There's a partnership, a deep love. There's a strength of two coming together. So when it talks about love and relationships, it means that it's a time that love will be brought to you in big capital, bold letters to the center stage of your life. This could be a new relationship, like I said, or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Or like I said, it could be a situation. Either way, you're going to be really happy with how romance is going. And others will notice how you're glowing. This is serious stuff when you get the lover's card. Very serious. Uh, it could mean even in a new relationship where you're meeting each other's family, talking about the word forever. So make sure you share your joy, Aries, with those around you who need it. Because life, it, it should start to feel really blissful to you. So this lover's card, it's paired with temperance. And temperance is about things going pretty well. You could need to look, you may need to look at some deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way when you get temperance. And if they are, um, you need to find out how to work through them and integrate them. It's all about finding balance when you get temperance. Finding balance in yourself, your relationships, with your goals and aspirations. When temperance talks about love, often before you can have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace with yourself. So you might need to take a look at things you feel guilty about. Any mistakes that you feel you've made in your past. Forgive yourself, let it go, because it's the only way that you can truly make progress in life. So your present time, lovers and temperance. So there's some new, great, good opportunity coming in. It could be towards the very end of March, towards early April. Um, you could be falling in love, you could meet someone new. Um, and this will be um, a grand, a grand type of relationship, bringing love in capital letters. Uh, there'll be a coming together, some type of union, a deep partnership. Um, 
Now with temperance, it's about, like I said, finding balance. So, if you have some deep personal issues, once you deal with those, or you should try to deal with those, um, because it will make this good opportunity that's coming in with the lover's card. It will make it more approachable for you. You'll be more willing to accept it. So once you deal with some, if you need to, if you have any deep personal issues, try to work through those because you got some type of good opportunity. I want to say a love opportunity. But a lot of you aren't into love, so I'm just going to use the word good opportunity with this lover's card. But you need to get balance. If you got something you think that's stuck in your head from the past, deal with that. Any mistakes, forgive yourself, let it go. That way you can move into this good opportunity. You don't want to miss out on this. It's coming up. Now, if you're dealing with someone, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you as this Page of Cups and the Emperor. Now, the Page of Cups is about needing to play, dream, have fun. Um, this card, it means that you could be taking yourself too serious, too, far too seriously. You probably heard the saying that there's a difference between taking your work serious, seriously and taking yourself seriously. The first is imperative, the first is important, and the second can be a disaster. Now when this Page of Cups talks about love and relationships, there could be a younger person, even younger by a few days, um, a few months, a few years. They could be a part of your love scenario. Just remember, love doesn't know age, so don't discount people on, on their age if they're younger than you purely on that basis. This card, when it comes to love, it can also mean that someone wants to sweep you off your feet. So you might want to give them a chance, even if they're younger than you. Now this Page of Cups is paired with the Emperor. Okay, so the Emperor, wow, it's about an older person actually. It could be, you could be finding yourself falling for someone who's older which is on the contrary to this younger person. Now, this person could be very organized type person. They got rules and they probably do a lot of planning. They're attracted to order, logic, and organization. Now, I think this is for someone who's single when you get the emperor. Uh, yeah, if you're single, someone could be coming towards you like this. The attraction may not be mutual from the very beginning, but if you're patient and persistent, it, it's definitely going to grow. We all know that fireworks at the beginning, they're all good and well, but if you ask yourself how long fireworks really last, we all know a slow burning connection is far, out, is far likely to outlast the fireworks. So this emperor is how your person is seeing you and they see you as this page of cups. Uh, the emperor, let me explain it a little more. The emperor uh, is a type that uses their head over their heart. So it's usually easier to make hard choices. Okay, it brings a self-controlled focus. Because you're not thinking with your heart, you're thinking with your head. Uh, the emperor uh, doesn't want to appear vulnerable. This is how they're seeing you. They can see you as a leader or a boss type, probably really arrogant. Um, they probably see you as a desire for dominance in this connection. So if you're female or male, they see you as probably the one wanting to wear the pants. So be careful with that if you're a female dealing with a male who likes feminine women and so that could be a problem. But this is how they see you 
and they want you to loosen up stop being so hard like this emperor because the page of cups is saying that they want you to open your heart bring some intimacy to this connection that's what the page of cups is saying so yeah someone is not being vulnerable you're seeing them as this you're seeing your person as not being vulnerable and open and they prefer to just use their head instead of their heart but you want them to open their heart page of cups that's what that is you want them to open up their heart and they're not and that's how they see you i hope i said that right i get these tags so twisted sometimes but don't sweat it because the readings are interchangeable this could be you or your person but so let me just clarify what i just said i hope i said it like this but person you're dealing with they see you as the page of cups and the emperor you're not using your heart yeah you're not using your heart only your head uh, you desire to be the one that wears the pants okay and um, they see you like this but they see you as um, not opening your heart and they want you to because you got the page of cups they want more of your heart that's how they see you okay I get it twisted I'm sorry guys anyway let's take a look at how you see them you see them as this king of pentacles and the nine of swords now the king of pentacles is about success in money matters when you hear the word pentacles that's coins finances cash so a lot of success there uh, also the king of pentacles with this card it's not a it's not a time to be a maverick it's a time to follow the established way of doing things. If this does stand for actual person, a man in your life, it refers to a masculine type of person. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If we are talking about a man, this man is one who you can believe in and trust in absolutely. So this king of Pentacles when it talks about love and relationships it's excellent someone may want to come along and sweep you off your feet so try to put your best foot forward don't pretend to be someone that you're not because this person this King of Pentacles loves you for exactly who you are so you might want to just be honest and everything should fall into place if you're currently involved with someone, the relationship could move to a more comfortable place. But if you're dissatisfied, you'll need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your person, your lover to read your mind. And this is how you see them. You see them as this king of pinnacles, very secure and committed to you, to this connection. You see them as wanting to have a lot of success with this connection. Um, you can see them, the King of Pentacles is like a good father, very stable. And this is how you see them. Now it's paired with this Nine of Wands and you see them as this Nine of Wands also. The Nine of Wands is about something troubling someone with regards to the relationship. Um, it's about not ignoring your gut feelings and if you feel something in the relationship is unhealthy you're probably correct if you suspect that something is going on behind your back your best bet is to ask your partner about it if you recently met someone don't get too carried away believing that all is what it seems because we all know trust takes time to develop yeah as you can see this man is out in the mountains or wherever and he's looking down he's got his hood on and it looks like he's crying so there's some hardship there 
current ship's feeling of anxiety. Um, this person could also be feeling like their life should be in some way more or bigger. Some type of uh, anxious feelings. Yeah, some hardship, maybe nightmares, anxiety, grief, some depression. And this is how you see them along with this King of Pentacles. Um, you see them as wanting to have success in this connection, but they, they also have anxiety about it. But they want it, they want it, they want to focus on it. You see them as wanting to be a, a good partner, but for some reason, there's anxiety there. Maybe it's about a situation, but they want to be your, you see them as wanting to be your everything, but, um... For some reason, there's nightmares. Uh, maybe they suffer from s depression or anxiety. And that's how you see them. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to the Empress and the Magician. Now, the Empress just explained this pretty lady up there with the green face. Uh, she doesn't play by the rules. She does not. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. This doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. The Empress basically is about coming abundance. But keep in mind, it doesn't It doesn't mean that abundance is always financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches. And money is only one of them. But as the Empress, the Empress can encompass any or all of them. When it talks about love and relationships and you get the Empress, um, it's about um, a very being a very potent time for love. And you could find men and women. They're suddenly finding you far more attractive. Both for friendship and romance. And you will want to carefully um, monitor how you use this power. Don't underestimate its potency if you're single and looking. This is a time when love well, let me say true love, that is. It could come your way. Very well come your way. In fact, if you're single and you're not looking, true love could seek you out anyway as the Empress. If you're in a commitment, if you're in a committed relationship, they usually become sweeter, deeper, better, truer under the, under the influence of the Empress. And this is why... One of the reasons why it's happening. The, uh, there's a deep love in this connection. A deep love. Yeah. That's what the Empress is about. And it's with the Magician. Now the Magician... It's about new beginnings and great expectations. Um, it's about making a difference in a lot of ways. But you have to know that you will not have it handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. If you do the magic yourself. It's all about action when you get the magician. So if you just don't do anything, then you will not get anything. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything at this time is better than doing nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. And when it comes to love and relationships with this magician, right now someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether you find them or not, it's going to depend on you. So it's all about action. That explains the magician. And this is why it's all happening. 
you, your person, or both of you. You're, you're, there, you're planning. You're, there may be some str strategy, some strategic planning um, in this connection. And there's a deep love there with this Empress. A deep love. So, there's some, someone um, planning probably some new beginnings or just having a lot of great expectations as this magician. So, now the magician, keep in mind, could also be a trickster. So, Someone could be using tricks to to keep to keep this deep love going. Yeah, but there's a deep love there, and this relationship could be coming into abundance uh, with with who's ever doing all this new beginning strategic planning. So that's why it's all happening. And basically, we got this lovers card for the present time. And I told you that that brings love and big, bold capital letters to the to your life. Well, not only to your life, but to the center stage of your life. Center stage. But your person or you want your person to loosen up some, because they don't always use their their heart. They're always using their head, and they always just want to wear the pants. You want them to loosen up and open up their heart. They're not doing this. And um, uh, someone is having some anxiety, maybe depression. But uh, there's a lot of love in this connection. Yeah, or it's coming in. Because we got this lover's card. And then we got the empress. It's about wanting to bring abundance. And someone wants to make it happen. They're planning and they're strategic about it as a magician. So... Not a bad reading, Aries. I hope you enjoy the reading. Enjoy the reading. Enjoy the reading. 